Hi there, let's evaluate the limit of absolute value of x divided by x as x approaches zero. Evaluate is a bit of a weird word, it's a little vague. The evaluation we're going to do today is actually to show that this limit does not exist, which you could see if you looked at the graph of the function. If you look at the graph of the function over here, what would make a limit not exist? Well, if the one-sided limits were different, the limit would certainly not exist. If approaching from the left gives something different from approaching on the right. And that's what we see in the function. From the left, it looks like as we approach zero, we've got a value of negative one. And as we approach zero from the right, it looks like we've got a value of positive one. So that would suggest to us that this limit does not exist. Certainly, we can't evaluate the limit just by substitution. If we try to plug in x equals zero, we would have zero over zero. So, nothing going on there. Let's try to show the limit doesn't exist. In order to do that, we'll show that the one-sided limits are different. So, let's start by evaluating those. Here are our one-sided limits. The limit from the left and the limit from the right. Now, if we're approaching zero from the left, we'll start there. If we're approaching zero from the left, what can we say about x? What is its sign? If it's approaching zero from the left, then certainly x would have to be negative. So we'll go ahead and write that here. x is negative in this one-sided limit. And that's going to affect how the absolute value function works. Since x is negative, the absolute value of x will actually be negative x. The absolute value will introduce that negative in order to negate the negative that x already has. For example, the absolute value of negative half is negative negative half. The absolute value includes that extra negative so that these cancel out and we're left with positive half. So this is just by definition of absolute value. Certainly, since x is negative with this one-sided limit, absolute value of x becomes negative x. Now, we can just cancel those out. x and x cancel out, we're left with negative one, and that is the limit from the left. Let me go back to the black color. So the limit of our function as x approaches zero from the left is negative one, just as the graph suggested. And just in case you needed a little more detail there, hopefully you can see how the x's cancel out and so we're left with negative one in the limit. And of course, negative one doesn't depend on x. So what's the limit of negative one as x approaches zero from the left? That just leaves us with our final result negative one. All right, let's move on to the limit from the right. If x is approaching zero from the right, what does that mean about the sign of x? It means that x is greater than zero. So we'll go ahead and write that. Again, that affects how the absolute value function behaves. If x is greater than zero, then the absolute value of x is simply x and you can see where this is going. So our limit becomes x in the numerator divided by x. Again, because if x is positive, absolute value of x is simply x. And this is very similar to the previous one-sided limit, except now it's not negative. The x's cancel out, leaving positive one behind. And thus, we can make our conclusion. Since the limit of absolute value of x over x as x approaches zero from the left is not the same as the limit as x approaches zero from the right, by definition, that means that the limit of the absolute value of x over x as x approaches zero does not exist. The one-sided limits are different, so what's sometimes called the two-sided limit does not exist. Hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. See through a big glass jar Abstracting everything Lined in rows of crows 
Jump.